you'd like to support the channel or you are just a sucker for poetic post-apocalyptic internal conflict, check out my book, Discarded Horse Feathers, available at all major online retailers. Since purchasing this home over five years ago, the advanced degree of mineralization on these plumbing components really concern me. Today is the day that we swap these washer hoses and I'll show you a couple other helpful hints for removing the hoses in the event that you waited as long as we did. As you can see clearly written on the hoses, it reads, replace after five years of use. I venture that it's been a lot closer to 10 years. Let's begin by turning off the water by rotating each spigot clockwise. And what do you know, the valve starts leaking. Well, we can address this if it's still a problem in a little bit. When removing the old hoses, you'll notice that one end of the connector has ridges. We'll use a slip joint pliers to grip on those ridges. But unfortunately, the connector is seized on our faucet. In an effort to break down some of that advanced mineralization, we'll try some white vinegar. Literally, this thing is breaking apart. This first one's actually looking darn good. Another technique is to heat the connector so that it expands, which, if successful, will break the seal on that faucet. All right, now we got to move on to our more heavy-duty pipe wrench. Yeah! God, is that ever on there still? You got to check out this nastiness coming up. After several labored turns with the pipe wrench, the connector loosens by hand on our cold side. Since that worked so well, let's try it on our more corroded hot side. Okay. All right, boys. the joint right there. Damn. That is on. That's fucking seized. Damn. We'll try a little bit more vinegar along with some baking soda and you'll notice that that bubbling activity is a sign that the acid is buffering and maybe clearing off some of that corrosion. Now the actual problem is the seal on the inside of this end connector is seized and we need to break that seal in order to remove the hose. All right, now we're getting into desperate times. Since we won't actually be using this hose again, it's all right to destroy it. Let's take a hacksaw and cut diagonally into the ring of that connector. Ideally, you don't want to go too deep just enough to fit a flat bladed screwdriver so that we can peel the rest of the connector enough to crack that seal. I want to caution you, it doesn't take much to saw through that metal. All right, now let's peel off the end, working our way down. Ah, did you hear that? You could probably even hear the seal crack. Now our pipe wrench should do the trick. Take note again, see how I'm gripping the bottom of that grooved connector with our pipe wrench? There you go. Ah. Holy shit. All right, if you look carefully, I did go through a bit of the threadings with our hacksaw, so we'll address that shortly. Let's remove the hoses on the washer side.
and clean things up with a little white vinegar. These are plastic pieces as opposed to the steel up there, so it's quite a bit easier. There's less ability to corrode. But we'll clean out the insides and outsides. You can see where I got through the threading, so that's not a good thing. We'll do the cold first. As always, don't forget to put your gasket in. Before connecting things up. See if we got some leaks. Doesn't appear to be any leaks, no. And now I'm much more curious about this other one. Place our gasket. So this valve does leak. The seal does not. Initially after connecting up, this was leaking at the valve. What I did was turn this packing nut, this first nut coming off of the valve, about a quarter of a turn, and that provided a nice seal. Now even though there wasn't much leakage from those cut threadings on our hot water side, I want to wrap some plumber's tape around the threads to provide a more reliable seal. Remember, whenever you're wrapping plumber's tape, you want to wrap it to the way that you're going to be tightening on your connector. Please like my video if it helped you out and feel free to leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Jeez, what the fuck? This is one hell of a way to end a video. Son of a bitch.